just thought of something crazy to do. Usually we do all those food reviews. We we'll go to a certain place, you know, and review food. But this time, let's do something different. We're going to do a challenge instead, and not just any challenge. Most of the, most of our videos so far has been food, but why not we do fruits today? Yeah, it is strawberry season, and we're going to do a strawberry challenge. I was thinking about it. How we go about doing this challenge? Five different categories of strawberry products we're going to try today, and we'll rank them. We'll see how it is. Five different categories of these strawberry products, and let's see what Japan has to offer. Strawberry is a big item here in Japan. One of the fan favorites, a local favorites, not just Japanese but also foreigners here. So let's see what they got to offer in these five categories, and let's see whether are they worth their price or not. All right, let's go. For the first category, 100 yen to 300 yen. I guess it's pretty obvious of that price range. We could only probably find items of those at the convenience store. In fact, the first two of the list, the two categories, 100 yen to 300 yen and 300 yen to 500 yen. Both of it are at Lawson convenience store. Can't wait to show you guys what the first two category has for us. All right, there we have it. The first two category. The one on my left is the first category. Cost 208 yen, a strawberry filling dorayaki. And on my right is the second category. We are from 300 yen to 500 yen. This is a strawberry sando, strawberry fruit sando, coming in at 428 yen. Officially, our Japan Strawberry Challenge has begun. Has begun. <laughs> Look at today. Woo! Still very early in the morning. That's why the streets are really empty. Trying to find a space, a warm space for me to eat this. I thought a place that is nearby Shinjuku. I'm in Shinjuku right now. We'll go there and review this thing. Right, let's go. Ichibiko collaboration with Lawson. A strawberry dorayaki. Pretty cool, isn't it? Oof. You know, the dorayaki is pretty thick. A lot of feelings since I look at the depth. Yeah, the flavor is... Mm, I wouldn't say it's intense. Maybe out of a... 100, around 60%, 55 to 60. The dorayaki skin is pretty mochi. But one thing for sure, the amount of cream, strawberry cream you get on the inside is pretty decent. I've hit the, the inner layer, the white color whipped cream. I mean, for this price range, I think it's pretty decent, pretty good. Of course, we expect it to be delicious at least, but we shouldn't ask for too much, right? Major strawberry bits. Yeah, so not too bad overall. The strawberry jam you just saw, it's sparse, not a whole lot of it, just bits and pieces around the cream. Enough flavor to carry the strawberry dorayaki. Mm, pretty good, pretty good. Now I chose I chose a better looking <laughs> strawberry sandwich. The first one I took, the strawberry isn't so good. Lawson is having all this strawberry promotion. But not just Lawson, all the major convenience stores in Japan as well, 7-Eleven, Family Mart. You know, they're all having their own strawberry promotion. So do check them out. Now, the only thing this could be really good is for the strawberries to be really sweet, really delicious, really fresh, you know, very strawberry. A little of a sourness is fine. If not, <laughs> with almost twice the price tag, could be a bit expensive. Mm. The bread is just regular soft white bread. The strawberry, not too sweet, but it's not sour. The strawberry taste, pretty decent. Again, around 55, maybe this time around 60 out of 100 in terms of its strawberry taste. Ah, oh, but the whipped cream feels a little buttery or could be from the bread. But I'm pretty certain the bread is just white bread. The whipped cream is pretty delicious. Oh, kind of carried this particular strawberry sandwich. 
I can see the charm of this. This is like all those, you know, fruit sandwiches that is trending in Japan. Mm. This one, okay, a decent attempt. So yeah. So the first two category, I think pretty decent attempt overall. Now, I'm pretty certain the third category will not disappoint. 500 to 700 yen category. And we are going to somewhere special. Strawberry season goes all the way until May. So enough time, guys, enough time if you're coming to Tokyo or coming to Japan. Okay, guys, this is the place that we're going to go to, the Bubai Gawara Station. The journey is around 30 minutes. You do not need to reserve a sitting for it. You can just buy the ticket and you'll be good. You'll be good. We are going to a strawberry farm. After I make this turn, it is just straight up ahead, all the way. Now, I'm going to keep you guessing what we're going to try over there, but it's already a huge clue that <laughs> strawberry farm, what else can, can we do over there besides eating strawberry, drinking strawberry, you know, various kind of strawberry stuff. Oh, look at the train again. What a sight there. For me, strawberry is always a hit and miss kind of thing. That's because back in Singapore, most, and when I say most, I'm talking like 90% of the strawberry I've eaten over there through the course of my life has been sour. But one thing I know for sure, as long as it is Japanese strawberry, it's gonna be sweet. <laughs> it's gonna be sweet. I mean, it's like Japan has the secret formula for fruits, you know. We have arrived. That's the place. Tokyo Ichigo Cafe. We are going to drink a particular strawberry drink. Let's see if we can go in. Ooh. Look at the number of people here. Ooh. Too many, too many. Are you guys seeing this? Look at those huge strawberries. The strawberries are really, really huge. Maji. Ichigo milk, hitotsu. Tokyo Ichigo Cafe. Oh my goodness. Can look at how thick this particular milk is. Are they kidding me? <laughs> awesome here. It's so thick that it actually feels like yogurt. 600 yen though. But if it's this fresh, then I guess all the more worth it, isn't it? Mmm. Oh, I'm really astounded by it. Honestly speaking. Because usually with Strawberry milk is highly suspicious because most of the time not enough strawberry is being used. So what you taste most is actually the milk. But this is my first time whereby the amount of strawberry literally overpowered the milk. I've been strawberry. <laughs> I have been strawberry. No artificial stuff. Kind of give me the feeling that this really is 100% strawberry milk. And the strawberry just provides, you know, the natural sweetness. So, which means that it's not overly too sweet. There's still a hint of sourness, but just a very natural, you know, small hint of it. 600 yen worth it. <laughs> just fabulous. I'll just buy this. I'll just buy another cup. Just take my money. It's just too good. Max strawberry, you know, the kind of Japanese advertisement 
Max strawberry. <laughs> yeah, this is it. <laughs> so if you think that I'm cheesing you concerning how thick this particular strawberry milk is, have a look at this. Could you see that? I'm not joking, isn't it? Oh my goodness. The amount of strawberry used here, it's on display. I've heard there is a strawberry fair at the Tokyo Sky Tree. We're gonna check that out. And apparently, two of our categories are at the Sky Tree area in this particular fair. So I can't wait to find out what they are and how delicious those strawberry will be. I'm trying to look for the shops here. Is this it? Oh yeah, it is. Yep, our fourth category. Marion crepes. Oh guys, bad news. We found the replacement. We are searching for the shop right now. An equally good replacement in my opinion, along the same price range. Little disappointed, but it's okay. Is this the place? Yes, this is the place. Well, we don't have to look much at the menu. Right off the bat, first page. Ichigo soft serve Zenzai. The soft serve, oof. Very crystal clear kind of milky taste. Perfect creaminess, this soft serve. Smooth, yeah, the word is smooth, oof. The mochi here is not your sweet kind of mochi. Its focus is on the chewiness and the texture. The strawberry acts like a complementary part and not the main one in comparison to most of the other desserts or products we have seen thus far in this challenge. But I think this is a, a really good take on a very traditional Japanese sweet, right? By infusing strawberry in it to add a slight counter to the sweetness. This is not to say that the strawberry is not sweet at all. It is sweet. But naturally, strawberries all have a small, you know, slight tinge of sourness to them. And this is what they're aiming for. We now approach boss category, guys. Yep. This is boss category. We are referring to category that is 1,000 and above yen category. To see how awesome the... the boss category could get in comparison to the cheaper categories above. Could, you know, the earlier categories, could the cheaper categories potentially upset even the most expensive sort of category here, the final boss category. This is what we are interested to find out. Because as you know, Japan has a wide variety of products for literally anyone and everyone. Okay, our very first stop of the boss category, the final category, Denny's. Truth to be told, I am really surprised that they have such an offering this year. Because, well, if you know the concept of Denny's, then such a particular dessert is not possible at all. Doesn't suit their ammo at all. <laughs> Guys, it's here. But before I show you, viewers, please be advised to be shocked. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo! Ready? Three, two, one. Bam! Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. What on earth? did I get myself into right now? Amao Ichigo Tree Sunday. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at that beauty right there. 10 of these Amao Ichigo. Oh, look at the sugar icing on the top. Let me do a comparison. This is my hand. Oof. Three quarters of my hand. Look at that. 
Yeah, just the strawberry itself is already three quarters of my palm. Ikimasu. Tabemasu. Itadakimasu. Ooh. So sweet. Now, this is what I'm talking about, man. Oh, the sweet type, not the kind of small sour ones. No, 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 no. The thing with Amao strawberry is it has got to be sweet, you know? It's pretty large and it packs a punch of strawberry flavor. So irresistible, so sweet. There are 10 of them, so if we divide them by 10, each of these strawberries is around 200 yen, about $2, or slightly less than that. But we have to take into account the other ingredients here. This is the second one that I feel I'm strawberry. <laughs> The first one was actually the strawberry milk that you guys saw. So far it's just been strawberry, strawberry and strawberry. I can't wait to attack the lower layers. But I know that once I reach those layers here, it means that I have run out of strawberries. After the pyramid of strawberries, so you have the ice cream over here, your whipped cream, uh, the granola, the sweet biscuit type kind of thing. I wonder what's this? Feels very pancake-ish. Probably some pancake. And over here, there is some sort of a sorbet type strawberry dessert. Strawberry sorbet. Mm. Now this is pretty interesting. There is actually bits of pancake inside. A very well thought out dessert. You know, to be able to incorporate so many different facets of food with strawberry. It is trying to tell me that whatever strawberry dessert you see out there, I can get all of it inside this cup. <laughs> There's a sense of arrogance here. It feels like custard and thereafter vanilla ice cream. And I know what's at the bottom. It's actually strawberry jam to top it off. Oof. Is this worth its price tag? What do you think? Definitely it's not a apples to apples kind of comparison. But you know, just think about the cost that you're paying for a similar experience. Definitely the cheaper categories, the experience may not be so much, but definitely the quality is there. This one, definitely you have the quality, but also the quantity. I'm looking for a shop called Horiyuchi. Oh, is that it? I think I saw it already. Over here. Horiyuchi. I went ahead and casually made the order. And I was not prepared for this. What the? This looks completely different from the picture. Look at those magical rubies. What struck me immediately was this was somewhat similar to the Denny's one. But definitely different. I can't put a finger on it just yet. The strawberries are pretty good. Horiichi is actually a fruit farm hailing from Nara Prefecture. Around 70% strawberry sweetness I could taste, but it isn't too sour either to my surprise. Not one, not two, not three, and it goes on and on. It actually felt like they're hiding something inside with all these strawberries at the front. After all, I don't think it's just a cup full of strawberries, unlike the Denny's one which is very arrogantly in your face. Now this is my concern right here. After I finish the 10 strawberries. Oh my goodness. I have a layer of whipped cream. Vanilla ice cream on the inside. <laughs> yeah, that's why I say I can't wait for the main layer. My journey continues to discover the deepest, darkest secrets of this parfait. It is after all, 2,230 yen. Wanna guess how many strawberries are there total in this cup? 17 strawberries in this madness here. I finally got to the end and this was what awaited me. Bang! It looked like some strawberry jelly that is glowing there. An abundance of it. It doesn't feel like they just put strawberry flavouring. Feels like actual fruit is used for this, for the flavour to be this intense. Yeah, it feels like a jammy kind of jelly. Mm. And thereafter, right after the layer of jelly, I believe this is custard. Yeah, it looks very eggy here. Pudding-like. Mm. 